The software provides you the ability to import data from outside sources such as shapefiles, imagery, KML and KMZ files, and text files. You can manage this data in the software as additional map layers and even map backgrounds. In this tutorial, we are going to cover importing a shapefile, assigning the column attributes, and mapping the newly imported data. To begin, click on the Read Files icon in the main toolbar. Select the import a file from a generic source and click the Start Importing Generic Files. Select the file format and type To Be Processed and click the Select Files to Import. For this example, we will import a shapefile. Select the file to import and click Open. A preview map of the data contained in the selected file will now be displayed. If correct, click Next to continue. Otherwise, click Cancel to exit the import process. As a note, the data displayed in the preview window is not projected. You will now choose if you want the data contained in the file added to your management tree, or if you would like it saved to the background list. If you want the data added to the management tree, you choose Add to Management Hierarchy, and then select the data type you are importing. The data types available to select will be dependent on the type of data in the file selected. Click Next to continue. If you selected to add the data to your management tree, you can now select specific attributes that will be available to map once the data is imported into the software. Select the attribute and use the Assign Column button to search for and assign the correct attribute and units to the column of data. Once the desired attributes have been linked, the Save Template button can be used to save the column settings as a custom template for future use. Click Next when finished. The Clipping Options dialog will now open. If you selected to save this file to the management tree, you can choose to clip by field, clip by farm, or import the entire file with no clipping. If you choose to clip by field or farm, the imported file will be clipped to a square bounding box around your farms and fields. If you want the file to be clipped to your set field boundaries, select the Clip the File to Frozen Field Boundaries. You can also choose to expand the clipped area by a set percent up to one square mile around the field farm boundaries. The default selection is to import the entire file. Choosing this option will allow you to save the entire file as one data set in the management tree. Click Next after selecting the desired clipping options. Now, select the management information for the data you are importing and click Next. These management items will determine what grower, farm, field, year, and operation your data will appear under in the management tree. Again, if you selected to import the data as a background, this step will be skipped. Click Finish to complete the import process. This data will now be available to use in the software. To create a map of this data, select it in the management tree and click the Create New Map button. Use the Attribute and Property drop-down list to select one of the map attributes you assigned during the import process. You have now imported a shapefile and assigned the appropriate columns and created a map of the information. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.